look at New Orleans starting lineup. We've got Jonas Valanciunas, Brandon Ingram out there with C.J. McCollum. Then there's Hayes, and it's Jones in at the three slot. And for the Lakers, the big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point, LeBron and A.D. sliding in at the forward spots. Dwight Howard out there with Malik Monk. Another season underway for the NBA. Grant, was there an opening night that sticks out in your mind? Well, for me, rookie year opening night is always special. Came out the gates 25, 10, and 5. Of course, 2004 was special, too, after not playing the entire previous year. There's McCullough with the three. Hayes against Davis. Westbrook, the pass to Howard. Hayes against Davis. Shot clock at six. And there's James from the arc. Gets the three to fall. Uh, we all know LeBron has this weapon in his arsenal. Shooting from range. Still a big part of his offensive game. Now here's Valanciunas. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Back to Hayes. Outside Jones. Oh, they get a hand on it. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. And that one's good. Davis. And they set up AD well there. Able to send up a confident shot almost the instant the ball gets to it. McCollum with it. He had 25 points in his last game. Pass to Hayes. On the wing, Jones. And here's Hayes. Checked by James. Back to Valanciunas. Clock at six. Hayes with a screen on Monk. Jones' his shot is good. And the Lakers with possession here. Their last meeting was in New Orleans, where they were unable to fight off the Pelicans. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Well, it can affect your confidence, not just as the player shooting, but the entire team. So defenses might get a little bit more aggressive. And then you got to think about the next free throw. Now here's Westbrook. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. And the Pelicans with possession here, following the score by the Lakers. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Pass to Ingram. The shot. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. You think about the early part of Brandon Ingram's career. So long and so skinny. People worried about his frame. And that he might not have uh, the ability to put on the weight and deal with the rigors. That's not true. Now here's Davis. Pass to James. Just five on the clock. Howard, the screen. Three-pointer. They grab their own miss. Davis, that's good. And Davis is such a tough cover on the inside. Collects the second chance points there. McCullum against Westbrook. McCullum, pass to Ingram. Alan Chunas with a screen on James. The offensive rebound. And Davis with the block. Oh, that reach is so dangerous. AD uses it so well. And there's the foul. It's on Jackson Hayes. That's his first foul. And when it comes to Ingram's strength, Brent, he's proved it doesn't affect his ability to be a dominant scorer. Well, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, you know, of recent memory were guys that came in thin and wiry. People thought they were going to get pushed around. Ingram now doing the pushing, especially on the offensive end. Now here's Monk. 14 points for him. Last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Oh, 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Good on both. The Pelicans have gone two for five to start today's game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Westbrook's got five. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Now here's McCollum. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Four on the clock. Shoots over Westbrook. And again, no good by New Orleans. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession. If they can get it, he doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. That's a whistle he did not want to hear his second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. And the Pelicans making a change here. Nance has checked in. And so it's the Lakers with it. Davis finds Westbrook. Monk with it. Davis with a screen on Ingram. Here's Monk. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Here's Jones. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Davis goes in. Pass to James. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. James has got his second basket of the game. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. And it's the 2K leaderboard. Team leaders in blocks last season. Fifth, the Lakers. Awesome rim protection from them last year, and it was because of one thing. They commit to intimidating anyone that comes in the lane. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Hayes. Driving it. And that is what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. James passes to Howard. It's stolen by Ingram. 
McCullum with it. Monk covers. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And McCollum, no good on that one. And C.J. McCollum continuing to be one of the most elite mid-range and creative scorers around 15 feet. The Pelicans have gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. To the inside. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. And Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. Los Angeles has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. And for McCollum, taking more threes might be good for his longevity as well, Brent. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. He's such a gifted shooter, and there are ways to get him out to the three-point line where he's standing and gets in great rhythm. I think you're going to see CJ raise that percentage. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. For New Orleans, they've gotten five of 11 shots to go. Ingram on the wing. Checked by James. Up top, McCullum. Pass to Jones. Now Hayes. Six to shoot. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. Monk for three. The shot's good on the assist by James. Monk's got seven points. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. Now here's McCollum. Right side Jones. Tries again. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Jones has gotten his third basket of the night. Howard in the high post. Outside Davis, from the arc. The Pelicans pull it in. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Nance outside. Tipped away. Pass break, here come the Lakers. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis against McCullum. Outside Jones. Pass to McCullum. Outside Ingram. Back to McCullum. Here's Nance. Hayes, the pass to Nance. There's McCullum with the three. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. And this is part of the patience of C.J. McCollum. In-air adjustments with the defender on him. You have to like that body control. Los Angeles has gone four of nine from beyond the three-point line in this first quarter. And there's James from the arc. And the three-pointer goes. 11 points in the game. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Here's McCullum. He's got five. Outside Ingram. Pass to Jones. Here's McCullum. Now Hayes, guarded by Howard. Ingram against James. Five to shoot. Again, the Pelicans good for two. Ingram's gone two of four from the field. James finds Howard outside Davis. Now, here is James. Westbrook left side. McCollum pulls it in. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Outside Jones. Pass to Nance. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ingram. Howard grabs the miss. Los Angeles shooting at around 59%. Their offense is clicking right now. Westbrook outside. He puts up a three. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got his fourth assist in this one. 
Outside Ingram. Pass to McCullum. The three is up. The shot misses. McCullum's gone two of five from the field here. It's Monk on the wing. Davis a screen. To the paint. Over Ingram. Here's Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. Well, that's when you love to see the strength of Dwight Howard marching through the defense and just ripping away the second chance opportunity for an easy score. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. It's a completely new group for the Lakers. And there's 138 left in the first. Pass to Marshall. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Here's Marshall, covered by Johnson. Clock at six. Out left to the wing. Right now, they're losing ground. I mean, they might need to switch things up a bit. Maybe hit the offensive boards a little harder. Outside, Augustine. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. A minute four left in the first quarter of the game. Anthony, left side. Shot clock at six. Well, the key there is Larry Nance Jr. staying with his man. The versatility to guard maybe the three, four, and five spots. Murphy's shot is good. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Now here's Augustine. Pass to Anthony. Outside Augustine. To the middle. Here's Reeves. And a nice finish on the layup. And the Lakers lead by 14. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. 32 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. There's a screen. He's covered by Augustine. Ram for three. Rebound by the Lakers. Pass to Horton Tucker. Down low. Here's Anthony. And the Lakers tack on two more. A mellow special right there playing in the mid-range. It's 
pretty much been his home his entire career. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. And it's their three-point accuracy that has helped them build such a healthy lead. We'll be right back. Well, the old saying is defense wins championships, but you ask LeBron, offense can be trickier. More delicate than defense. Defense, you can make mistakes but cover for one another by just communicating and flying around at times and clean up for your mistakes. Offensively, if you're not all five guys at the same time and not moving and cutting and one pass or you know one bad uh, screen here or one pass there can mess up the rhythm of an offense. And the best teams work together at both ends, Grant, but... Which end did you generally feel most in sync with your teammates, offense or defense? Oh, you're putting me on the spot, B.A. Uh, I'll say offense. I mean, I played in Phoenix with Steve Nash, so definitely offense at that point in my career. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. <laughs> on the front foot, really right off the tip. They've been ruthless offensively. Well, just taking it right at the opposition and the other team right now. No answers and no way to slow them down. Taylor Horton Tucker is out there with Carmelo Anthony. Then there's Johnson. Then there's DJ Augustine. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Here's Reeves. Knocked away. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Finished off the break. And, and that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And the Lakers with possession here. After the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago. Now here's Augustine. Defense is right there. And yep, it's good. And the Lakers lead by 14. Well, Brent, you played for some spitfire coaches. Does that style still work for players today, you think? I, I think players will always want a coach B.A. that keeps them accountable and wants them to, to grow and learn. I think the communication style has changed, but the demands haven't. Here's Horton Tucker. 11 points for him last game against Utah. Tries again. Here's Augustine. Blocked! Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. Los Angeles has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Anthony outside. That one a little long. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Murphy's shot is off. The Lakers have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Pass to Anthony. Johnson a screen on Graham. Here's Anthony. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got four rebounds in the game. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Here's Murphy. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Five points in the game. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Augustine. To the wing on the left. Here's Marshall. He's guarded by Anthony. And here's Valanciunas. And DJ Augustine gets the whistle that... Time. That's 
It's his first foul of the game. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, the drive by Ingram, and a slam dunk by Ingram. Well, the length of Ingram on display, outstanding it, finding the lane, and then he explodes through it. And the Lakers have possession. At one point, they led by 16. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, a home game. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. McCullum against Westbrook. Just five to shoot. Here's James. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Now here's Ingram. McCullum outside. Add that to his line. Now three for six. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one. But can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. Here's Horton Tucker. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Jones with the block. Shot on the wing. And another one falls for New Orleans. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Pelicans. Well, in their first half of play, they're closing out aggressively. The block shots, a key indicator of their activity defensively. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play, really looking to go up-tempo tonight. a moment now to bring up last season's top rebounding teams in third New Orleans and they were so awesome last year on the boards blocking out maintaining position and finishing off possessions with the rebound they are physical and that effort afforded them a ton of extra possessions the Lakers in the lead Westbrook outside. Pass to Horton Tucker. Outside Davis. Shot clock at five. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, got a piece of it. Here's Horton Tucker. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got assist number five here tonight. Here's New Orleans now. They're on a 15-4 run. Outside Ingram. Pass to Jones. McCullum outside. Off target from three-point range. Los Angeles has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. Now, here is James. He's got 11. Here's Murphy. Boom! He jams it straight down. 
Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. And the Lakers with possession here. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. And Davis gets double teamed. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Howard's checked in for the Lakers. Now here's Ingram. Give him eight points now. LeBron authorizing another block shot. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Valanchunas passes to Nance. And again, New Orleans, no good. And the Lakers shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Howard with a screen on Ingram. The shot by James, no good. After nailing three trades to start this game, he's gone silent here in the second quarter. Here's Ingram. He had 19 points in the win against Portland. Well, the thing he did most was fluster the defense. I really like how he showed no fear and constantly attacked the lane and drew contact, which in turn got him the free throws. Now here's McCollum. Seven points in the game. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Davis with a screen on McCollum. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. Fires the three. Second chance effort. And it's good on the layup. And it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. And they've committed to controlling the boards. And it's paying dividends. Pass to Murphy. Back to Ingram. Alan Chunas with a screen on James. The shot by Ingram. No good. Back to Valanchunas. Four on the clock. Ooh, Howard with a block. Well, Dwight Howard still makes you think about your shot attempt. Easily leaping up to throw that one away. And that one's good. Davis. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. Here's Ingram. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. McCullum on the wing. Here's Murphy. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Davis. Right wing for three. Westbrook. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got six assists here tonight. New Orleans calls timeout. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out.
Now Valanchunas. Pass to Murphy. Now here's Nance. Checked by Davis. Ingram against James. Down to five on the shot clock. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arc. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram's scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torch you. You just wish he could perform at that level every night. The first one falls. I think Brandon Ingram, not only a great story in his own right, starting to find out just how capable he is as a talent in this league, but also for executives about being patient and letting that talent develop. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. Both free throws good from Ingram. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. With the putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Howard's got six points. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Outside Ingram. Pass to McCullum. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Even though McCollum's a little bit thin, he doesn't mind taking the contact and moving away from it before scoring. Free throw drops for McCollum. The 2013 draft comes up, and the 10th pick is announced as C.J. McCollum out of Lehigh. And a lot of people said, who is this guy? Not a lot of people say that now. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. And the Lakers making a change here. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. And Howard knows exactly what he's out there to do. Defend, rebound the ball, and be aggressive in the paint. Outside Ingram. Back to McCollum. Puts up a three. Drops in the three. McCollum's got 13 points. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the Lakers. Johnson, he's checked in for Howard. Anthony comes in for Davis. And it's Augustine in for Russell Westbrook. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 121 left to play in the first half of basketball. Nance the screen. Pass to Hayes. Graham for three. And another three for New Orleans. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Here's James. Up top, Johnson. Out of 
Jones as Los Angeles keeps possession. Here's Augustine, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Augustine's got four points now in the quarter. 44 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Oh, stolen by Augustine. Inside, here's James, and slam dunked by James. Just finding ways to get inside, get up, and throw another one down. LeBron with an easy two. Outside Grant. Here's Nance. And he's in the books. Now one for two. And they seem to have found a nice groove here in the second period. There's 21 seconds left in the second quarter. And here's James. Fires the three. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! What a grand finale to the half. Great shot from distance to give his team the momentum right before the buzzer. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers ending the quarter up 10. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be back in a moment. Hello, everybody. We're here to break it all down. And through the first half of play, it's a very commanding lead for the Los Angeles Lakers. The three-point shot was their best friend. I agree with the strategy. When it's working, take advantage of it. I don't really like it. Live by the jumper, die by the jumper. But tonight, they're living and they're living good, baby. All right, now moving on to highlight two of the standout performers so far in the first half. It's like a supernova colliding. I mean, fans love these star matchups. Always the potential for a huge play. They draw so much attention, it frees up the rest of the team. Oh, and the momentum can change in a heartbeat with these guys on the floor. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. So the Pelicans five right now. They've got Hayes. C.J. McCollum is out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Jones in at the three, a small forward. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. McCollum, the pass to Ingram. And here's Valanciunas. Checked by Davis. Pass to Jones. Six to shoot. Westbrook against McCollum. And the three off target. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Howard in the high post. Back to James. Now here's Davis. Offensive board. It's deflected. And he's able to get it back. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That's his first foul. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's James. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there. Couldn't get it to go. 
McCullum, the pass to Hayes. Ingram with the ball. Monk covers. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. Now, here is James. He's got 18. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. McCullum right side. And the deficit down inside single digits. McCollum's got 15. Lots of ways that CJ can burn you right there. Super effective on the inside. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. McCollum against Westbrook. Pass to James. And he's going for the lob. Five on the clock. Stolen by Valanciunas. Ingram, the pass to McCullum. Back to Ingram. And here's Valanciunas. Right here, right here. Left side, Jones. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Howard with some nice D. Davis, the pass to Howard. Howard with a screen on Valanciunas. Pass to Davis. Looking to get it going, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. That free throw, good from Davis. Well, most big men have at least one area that they're working to improve or might tend to be subpar. With, with Anthony Davis, he combines a lot of his big skills with guard skills and that defensive versatility on the wing and the rebounding and the rim protection. That's pretty complete. Yeah, that one's good. He's got 12. Ingram just letting it rip right now on the offensive end. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Westbrook finds Howard. Outside Monk. Let's the three fly. Up again. Tries yet again. And the bucket is good. Howard's got ten points. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Outside Jones. Pass to Hayes. Hayes with a screen on James. Ingram into the lane. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Man, these Kevin Durant comparisons are starting to come to fruition right here, especially when Ingram is finishing with power on the drive. Howard in the high post. Outside Monk. No good off the front rim for New Orleans. They've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Now here's McCullum. 15 points in the game. Outside Ingram. Hayes with a screen. Fires from 14. Goes back up. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Hayes has got his second basket. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now, here is James. 18 points for him. Now, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide-open jumper, just unable to do so. McCullum against Westbrook. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Valanciunas has gotten four this quarter. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. On the wing, Davis. Outside Monk. Pass to Howard. Outside Davis. 
And Davis gets double teamed. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his third foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. And the Lakers making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. Davis, a screen. Six on the shot clock. A shot to stop the drill. They get it again. Jones with the block. And he gets it back. Looking at the 2K leaderboard. Here were the NBA's top dime droppers last year. Russell Westbrook on top. It was a virtuoso performance. They ran the offense through him time and time again. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Jones. Here's Ingram. Now McCollum, pounded by Westbrook. Now here's Jones. Not a lot of room. Nance, he's checked in for Jones. Here's McCollum. He's covered by Augustine. Here's Murphy. And the Pelicans miss again. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. And finished off by Davis. That's a perfect lob leading to a spectacular dunk from Davis there. Threw it up on time, on target. The Pelicans have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. To the inside. Here's Valanciunas. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. 31. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. Well, looking up and down the stat sheet here, I'm seeing those second chance points jump out at me. They've done a great job on the offensive glass. Johnson, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. The free throw drops for Valanchunas. The Lakers in the lead. Augustine with it. Anthony outside. The three sinks it from distance. Anthony's got five points. Now Melo cashing in right now from the perimeter where he's in transition and spotting up. you got to get to him. For New Orleans, they've gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Outside Grand. Valanchunas against Johnson. Pass to Graham. Here's Valanchunas. He's got nine. Just four to shoot. Four, three. That one doesn't drop. Now here's Augustine. Driving to the basket. The Pelicans pull it in. Valanchunas has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Outside Graham. Nance the screen. Jacks up a three. And they'll get another chance. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Great game for him. Double-double now. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanting to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. After the outside. Oh, 
and makes it with the kiss. Anthony's got his third bucket of the night. Mello showing some muscle. Impressive right there with that physical finish. Nance outside. Graham for three. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And just an incredible effort on the offensive glass. Wow, follows it up with the put back to finish the play. Anthony outside. Pass to Reeves. Anthony with a screen on Graham. Here's Reeves. Pelicans cleared away. You know what I love about Larry Nance is how well-rounded he is. A big guy who does a little bit of everything. Right? Yeah, he's a great jumper and a great leaper, but if you watch the cerebral part of what Larry Nance does as a big guy, and he plays at a great pace, and he sees a lot of what's going on on the floor. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Johnson finds Anthony. with a hand right in his face. Anthony's got nine. You know how many times Carmelo Anthony has been bumped like that and still scored? Thousands. The Pelicans shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Pass to Graham. Here's Murphy. He's covered by Augustine. Valanchuna sets a screen. Clock at four. Ram for three. No good. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. There's a screen by Anthony. It's Horton Tucker with a drive. And he drops the first. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Marshall, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And he makes both free throws. The Pelicans trail. Graham goes in. Oh, a special move before that shot. Graham's gotten his second bucket of the game. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. 141 left in the third. Here's Horton Tucker. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First free throw is good. And 
and so he makes both from the line. A minute 37 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Nance outside. Pass to Marshall. Over Johnson. That one is off. And Los Angeles the other way now. At one point, they led by 16. Anthony outside. Shoots off the step back. And he missed there. Four for eight shooting now so far. Well, New Orleans shooting a nice 50% for the game. Here's Murphy. He's covered by Augustine. That shot wide open. Graham's got five points now in the quarter. They're trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. And stolen by Graham. Pass to Murphy. Good. And Graham with the setup. Graham's got his fourth assist in this one. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here's Augustine. Here's Reeves. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Six points for him. Thirty-five seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Marshall. Here's Murphy. Oh, it's stolen. Here's Horton Tucker. Here's Reeves. Graham covering. With one on the clock. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. More 2K action in just a moment. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Russell Westbrook out there with Malik Monk. Then there's Talon Horton Tucker, and then it's Anthony Davis, and it's James in at the five, roaming the paint. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Ingram on the wing, checked by James. Outside Jones, pass to Murphy. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. He's perfect from the line this time. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Davis. James, outside. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. James has got 21 points in the game. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. Back to Ingram. Outside Jones, just five to shoot, down low, Hayes, and finished off by Hayes. 
Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you gotta have some hang time to pull that off. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting it well. Almost 50% from the floor. Pass to James. And that one drops for him. Give him 23. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Well, the Pelicans shooting 52% from the floor so far. Here's McCollum. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number 11. Here's James. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Hayes has got four rebounds now. Here's Jones. Rebound, Anthony Davis. The Lakers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Here's James. Good on the shot. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. And another huge night from LeBron James. He's been doing it since 2003. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Westbrook against McCollum. And it's blocked by Davis. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. They retain possession. Westbrook, the pass to James. Here's Davis. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And the Pelicans making a change here. Valen Chunas has checked in. Davis, no good on that free throw. Horton Tucker, tipped. McCollum against Westbrook. Here's Ingram. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. And Brandon Ingram showing some toughness that time. That's a strong finish. James finds Monk. Outside Davis. Davis, a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. It's blocked, and they get it back. Westbrook with the miss. Pretty lax defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. There's McCullough with the three. Horton Tucker grabs the miss. Horton Tucker's got six rebounds now in the game. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Howard's checked in for the Lakers. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Over the last break, I listened to the Pelicans coach address his team. He really got into them, saying, quote, you guys aren't playing hard enough. Forget the X's and O's. We need to play with passion. Let's just see that for the last part of this game. Guys? Thank you for that, Allie. And so it's New Orleans with it. They trail by 11. 
Looking ahead to the next game, playing at Los Angeles. They'll match up against the Clippers. That'll be the third stop of this four-game trip. McCullum shot is off. Well, uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And out of bounds, the Pelicans will take it. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Davis against Hayes. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist with that last one. Monk passes to Howard. Here's Westbrook. Davis with a screen on McCollum. Here's Westbrook. And that one's long. That was some very intimidating, aggressive defense that really helped alter that shot. Tries to spin move. Here's Jones. The Lakers with a rebound. At one point, they led by 16. Davis drawing the double team. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. Uh, he just has physical tools to make you go in there and foul him. Westbrook back to the line. And that one falls for Westbrook. Averaging a triple-double for three straight years. I mean, something that for 40 years people didn't think was going to be possible, and Russell Westbrook did the impossible, a future Hall of Famer. And so Westbrook nails both of them. And the Pelicans with possession here. 11-point game. Pass to Jones. Back to Ingram. Hayes with a screen on James. Here's Ingram. James with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by James. Just four to shoot. The three from Valanciunas. Subtle thing there from Howard. Terrific at getting his hand up on that shot. Just a quick challenge. And he puts forth the effort there to contest. Shot's good by McCollum. A good sign for them is the work they've done on the offensive glass this half. James outside. Davis with a screen on Valanciunas. And again, the Lakers no good. The Pelicans trail. Outside Ingram. Pass to McCollum. Now Jones. Knocks it loose. James with the ball. Guarded by Valanciunas. And he lays it in. James has got nine points now in the quarter. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Right side, Jones. Pass to Ingram from outside the arc. That shot is off. Good work defensively by James. Davis, the pass to James. Here's Howard. Second shot opportunity. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And you know how physical Howard is down there. When he's going up with his shot, he is expecting contact. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. 
New Orleans has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. McCullum with it. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. And finished off by Hayes. He turns the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. Pass to Howard. And here's James. Here's Monk. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got four assists in the game. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. Now here's McCollum. Hayes with a screen on James. Here's Ingram. Second chance shot. And Hayes lays it in. Hayes has got 10 points here in the second half. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. One for three. Powers. It's good on the putback. And the Lakers lead by 12. Well, a missed box out and an easy tip in, but it's because of the activity as the ball is going up, finding yourself in the right spot, just using some effort. Just cannot get anything... There's going to be a way to get out of this hole. I don't think he'll be the one to do it. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. Outside Jones. Pass to Valentunas. Back to Jones. Now here's Ingram. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Shot clock at six. Jones drives in, and that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Gordon Tucker, he's checked in for LeBron. Here's McCollum. And the Pelicans miss again. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Now you got to be aware when Valanchunas is in the area. He's capable of sending your shot back. And so it's New Orleans with it, following the score by the Lakers. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Ingram's got five assists tonight. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Horton Tucker. Now Monk. Let's go with a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. The Pelicans shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Here's Valanchunas. Oh, spiked away. Here's Westbrook. Finished off the break. And the Lakers lead by 20. Well, he's edge of your seat material out in transition. Westbrook is equally adept at pulling up for the shot or taking it to the rack. Pass to Murphy. Back to Ingram. And here's Valanchunas. Here's Murphy. Outside Ingram. Just five on the clock. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Westbrook, the pass to Howard. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, the D's got to be a bit more physical right there. Allowing Dwight to get that deep. Not a good idea, which is why he constantly finds his way to the free throw line. It seems to be more and more of a challenge for mid-market teams to keep their roster intact. Brent, players have a lot more say than they used to. Yeah, and this is a, an onus on ownership and general managers to create the kind of culture that invites star players to come in and start to win. And if you can get that kind of championship buy-in, you've got a chance, even if you're a small market. And he drops a first.
And he can hit the second. Here's New Orleans now. The leaner inside. And Ingram with the finish. Ingram's got four points in the quarter. Well, Brandon Ingram looks light, but don't take him lightly on the offensive end. He'll score. Outside Monk. Pass to Horton Tucker. And it's in there. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Now here's Hayes. Outside Ingram. Alan Chunas with a screen on Monk. Ingram. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Ingram's got 10 points in just the second half. And Ingram really can handle either part of that kick and roll. He could be the screener. And then he could roll. Or he could score off it. Nice option. Now here's Westbrook. And he's going for the oop here. Stolen by Valanciunas. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Lakers. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. <laughs> yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Well, at least they're going to take one game in this season series. It was an uphill climb. And one of the league's superstars, producing as he always does. What a terrific game for Anthony Davis. And with all these assists, it's obvious how well that he can see the entirety of the floor out there. If an easy bucket is to be had, he'll find it. Two shots. Foul. Two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for McCollum. Nance, he's checked in for Valanchunas. And McCullum drops them both. Los Angeles has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Anthony outside. Shoots over Nance. That went off the back iron and out. There's 31 seconds left in the final quarter. Pass to Murphy. Nance outside. And here's Ingram from the arc. Anthony grabs the board. Johnson with it. And here's Augustine. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort, and they were just dominant out there. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Anthony, your playmaking stood out tonight. Did you flash back to your days as a perimeter player in high school? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, the perks of being a guard before I became a big. I you know, get to handle the ball like that, so, you know, it was fun. It was fun tonight. You know, most of all, we got to win, and, you know, just keep getting back. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.